please stop. Stop ignoring the red flags in your relationship and thinking you can change. The reasons that men love curves. And it's true of myself too. I don't want to hug my woman and be able to touch my elbows. Name something that might be curvy. Me. Oh, about. Some days I'd be willing to trade my man for a really good what? Pool boy. A good what? <laughs> what, did what happened when a well-known TV host can't hide his admiration for a rising star? Steve Harvey's recent comments about Megan Thee Stallion's curvy physique have sparked a wave of speculation. <laughs> How does his wife, Marjorie, really feel about it? Could this seemingly innocent admiration be the key to unlocking the true nature of their marriage? Well, if there is something that Marjorie isn't about to do is to allow Steve to humiliate her. Some days I'd be willing to trade my man for a really good what? Pool oh boy. A good what? I'm sorry. What did and let's not forget about the rumors of Marjorie's affair with her bodyguard. Marjorie dismissed the cheating rumors as lies and foolishness, but fans aren't convinced. What if there's more to the story? Are they both hiding something much darker? Could their public displays of affection be masking a troubled relationship? From Steve Harvey's flirtatious comments about Megan Thee Stallion to Marjorie's scandalous remarks about cheating, their public facade is starting to show its cracks. On the surface, Steve and Marjorie Harvey seem to have it all. Fame, fortune, and a picture-perfect family. But as we dig deeper, the reality appears far less glamorous. This is one of our favorite things to do. This is pizza, and Marjorie makes the best pizzas. So y'all just gonna watch though? You put y'all to be ready to eat. Their lavish lifestyle and public displays of affection seem to be a cover for deeper issues. The cracks in their marriage are becoming more apparent with each new revelation. It all started when Steve Harvey couldn't hide his admiration for Megan Thee Stallion during a recent episode of Celebrity Family Feud. Name something that might be curvy. Me. Oh, about to... As the audience continued to roar, the savage rapper posed and strutted, showing off a curvaceous figure that was styled in red leather pants and matching corset bustier top. I'm so sorry. I, 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 what? Yeah, I... By the time the host regained any semblance of composure, Steve said, I'm so sorry, I don't know what, as Megan then asked, can I say that? He told her, yes, you might as well. I don't know why I clapped. Steve Harvey has always been vocal about his preferences when it comes to women, often making it clear that he loves curvy figures. That men love curves. And it's true of myself too. Because the first woman I ever loved had curves, my mama. Despite being married to Marjorie, who doesn't quite fit his so-called ideal body type, Steve hasn't held back from expressing his admiration for more voluptuous women. Developed feelings for people who had more than a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to hug my woman and be able to touch my elbow. Steve Harvey's candidness about his preferences has definitely raised some eyebrows. But let's be real. This isn't the first time people have questioned their marriage. In fact, the whole curves thing is just scratching the surface. There are way bigger issues bubbling under the surface of Steve and Marjorie's picture-perfect facade. From cheating rumors to money drama, their relationship has seen its fair share of scandals. Last year, there was an alleged discovery of an eight-year-old girl who is allegedly Steve Harvey's biological daughter. She has an eight-year-old little girl 
in Dallas, Texas. What's shocking is that Steve and his lovely wife, Marjorie, have been living in holy matrimony for a whopping 16 years. Yes, you heard that right. 16 years of marital bliss, or so it seemed. But the alleged twist in this tantalizing tale is that this precious little girl came into existence while Steve was already several years deep into his wedded journey with Marjorie. Can you believe it? The scandalous whispers around town suggest a timeline that's raising eyebrows and sparking relentless speculation. Hollywood's finest are dishing the dirt on how this eight-year-old cutie pie might just be Steve's secret love child, born in the shadows of his long-standing marriage. And here's another twist, folks, a twist as murky as the waters of a Hollywood scandal. This child, if the rumors are to be believed, has never received the recognition or care she rightfully deserves from the famous comedian and TV host. While it's essential to underline that these allegations are yet to be substantiated, the story has cast a glaring spotlight on Steve Harvey's alleged paternal neglect amid the dazzling backdrop of his fame and fortune. It's a narrative that raises questions about the responsibilities that come with celebrity status, particularly when it involves one's own flesh and blood. The alleged neglect of this young girl tugs at the heartstrings of many who wonder how someone with the means and resources to provide for their child could allegedly turn a blind eye. Nevertheless, amidst this cloud of uncertainty, one prominent figure has stepped into the fray. Storm Monroe, the whistleblower who initially brought this story to public attention, asserted that there is a tantalizing prospect on the horizon, one that suggests the mother of this child or a close family member might soon emerge to divulge the intricate details surrounding this enigmatic situation. Um, but if the mama of the child don't expose them, then most likely the nephew of the mother of the child will be coming to it is within these details, Monroe suggests, that the truth may eventually come to light, unraveling the mysteries surrounding Steve Harvey's alleged familial ties. Yet, the allegations surrounding Steve Harvey's personal life extend far beyond the purported eight-year-old child residing in Dallas, Texas. Another sensational bombshell looms on the horizon, ready to explode onto the pages of the gossip columns a tale of an alleged mistress hailing from Augusta, Georgia, who is reportedly preparing to share her side of the story. The mistress will be coming out to expose Steve as well. Now, this mistress is out of Augusta, Georgia. The impending revelation of an alleged mistress from Augusta, Georgia, adds another layer of intrigue to this ever-evolving narrative. If she indeed decides to step into the spotlight and share her perspective, it could potentially shed new light on the complex tapestry of Steve Harvey's relationships. At this mistress before he married Marjorie. So this mistress came in between Mary Harvey and Marjorie Harvey, although- The internet went wild as soon as these allegations were made. Some fans began giving their own accounts and end claims, albeit unverified. One particular fan wrote, I remember when I saw him in concert nine years ago, he told a joke that addressed the rumor that he had a woman on the side. I'd heard a story that the woman was in the Atlanta, Birmingham area a little before he came to Alabama. Not shocked about this. But that's not all. Essie Berry, a civil rights activist, also recently revealed that Harvey was having affairs with men as well. According to Berry, Steve Harvey had a rather suspicious relationship with none other than Bill Cosby had a dinner date with Bill Cosby and his wife. So everybody chilling, sitting down in the living room, chilling, Bill doing his thing, and Steve. The fact that Steve chose to associate himself with someone like Bill Cosby has raised some eyebrows. We all know that Bill has a shady past, but trust me when I say it goes much deeper than you can imagine. Prepare to be utterly appalled because this man's career took a devastating nosedive when he found himself entangled in a web of the most serious and seemingly never-ending allegations. Not just a few, not even a dozen, but more than 60 women have come forward accusing Bill Cosby of S.A. Three Cosby accusers, the ones united by Gloria Allred. And one of these women was just 17 years old when she claimed
But despite all the damning evidence stacked against him, there was one person who stood firmly in Bill Cosby's corner, and that person was none other than the infamous Steve Harvey. But wait, it gets even juicier. Steve didn't just quietly support Cosby behind closed doors. Oh no. He boldly championed his cause in public during interviews and anywhere he could. Looking at this dude, he out, he talking to white folks and telling them what to do. Right. Steve Harvey's unwavering support and defense of a disgraced comedian ignited a firestorm of speculation about their relationship. People couldn't help but raise their eyebrows at Steve's unwarranted loyalty to this fallen comedian. What's more, this whole situation further supports what Essie Berry had initially revealed about their gay relationship. It was funky. We'll leave it at that. It was feet and booty for duty. That's what it was. <laughs> all that together. Apparently, it is Mary Sackleford, Steve's ex-wife, who revealed their dirty relationship. According to Essie, who is an activist, Mary came to her for some help regarding Steve and her nasty divorce. Mary ended up revealing too much. According to Essie, Mary told her that one night she went to Bill Cosby's house to meet his wife. But there she saw Steve, Bill, and his wife having a dinner date together. After some time, she joined them too. Steve was standing with Bill's wife and Mary was standing with Bill. That she went over to Bill Cosby's house. Steve had a dinner date with Bill Cosby and his wife. So everybody chilling, sitting down in the living room, chilling, Bill doing his thing, and Steve and the wife sitting up. Mary told her that Steve made Bill's wife drink and he was chilling with her and having a good time. After making Bill's wife a drink, Steve grabbed her hands and took her to the bedroom. She said he took her hand, grabbed her hand, and walked her to the bedroom. According to Essie, Mary got frustrated with this incident and left immediately because her husband was doing inappropriate activities. It seems that Steve used some substance in her drink to make her sleep, but Steve did not do it because he was attracted to that woman. Instead, he wanted to spend some time with Bill alone. And when Mary left, Steve and Bill were together. But according to Mary, Steve came home hours later draped in a funky smell. A suspicious smell always came from Bill too, and Mary asked Steve what he was smelling like. But Steve replied with a weird answer. Like Steve, when you came in after Mary left, cause you was at Bill at homegirl house. So she said you had a little funky odor about yourself like so. After this question from Mary, Steve could not even turn his eyes to Mary's because he was smelling suspicious and his eyes had something in them which proved that he had a gay relationship with Bill. Look at himself, he looked disorientated, he had a funky smell about himself. I said, well, man, what you think happened? She said, you know what happened? I said, no. So this means it was very natural for Steve to support and stand up for a beast like Bill because apparently Steve was having a relationship with Bill. That is why he came to the media and openly spoke about how he adores and supports Bill. Nyway, in connection to these allegations, there has been a swirling rumor mill suggesting that Steve Harvey's current spouse, Marjorie Harvey, may have been involved in an affair with Steve long before he parted ways with his former wife, Mary Lee Harvey. The tale of Steve and Marjorie's love story is one filled with twists and turns, reflecting a complex web of relationships that ultimately led to the blending of two families into a modern day version of the Brady Bunch. When Steve Harvey and Marjorie Harvey first crossed paths, they had both already experienced two failed marriages and little did they know that destiny had something extraordinary in store for them. Their initial encounter marked the beginning of a unique journey that would transform their lives forever. Unlike the iconic Brady Bunch, they did not have any biological children together, but their union would create a family of nine. Steve Harvey, a renowned comedian and talk show host, found himself captivated by Marjorie the moment their eyes met during one of his comedy shows. Love at first sight is a cliche often tossed around, but for Steve, it was a very real experience. His reaction to Marjorie's late arrival was nothing short of profound. He was utterly breathless. In fact, he was so mesmerized by her presence that his prolonged silence and intense gaze made Marjorie feel somewhat uneasy. I saw her. 
I quit breathing. He stopped the show, actually. Afterward, Marjorie revealed that Steve made a statement that shocked her to her very core. He finally realized, okay, I gotta say something. He was like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know who this is, but I'm gonna marry her. Thus, their extraordinary love story began to unfold. In 2007, Steve and Marjorie sealed their love with a wedding ceremony, setting the stage for the fusion of their families. This union introduced some complicated family dynamics. Steve had four children from his previous relationships, while Marjorie was already a mother of three. Fitting into this blended family wasn't a simple task, and the couple openly acknowledged that their children did not immediately embrace the new arrangement. However, Marjorie emphasized that with time, they evolved into mom and dad for all the kids involved. Despite successfully navigating the challenging waters of family integration, Steve and Marjorie faced additional trials and tribulations. One particularly unsettling challenge came in the form of a threat from one of Marjorie's ex-husbands, Jim Townsend, several years after their marriage. Like that, but I am disappointed in Marjorie because you don't sell out to family. Because Steve Harvey may dump you just like he did. Jim Townsend claimed that Marjorie Harvey had come perilously close to facing a prison sentence during her first marriage. He asserted that there was evidence linking both his brother and Marjorie to his criminal activities, but a deal had been struck with federal authorities to prevent their indictment. During that period, Marjorie had owned her own bar, which federal officials believed had been funded with ill-gotten wealth and subsequently shut down. Jim Townsend was initially sentenced to spend the rest of his life in prison, but in 2017, he received a pardon from former President Barack Obama. Remarkably, he alleged that he had maintained contact with Marjorie, even during his incarceration, until she started seeing Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey, they was dating, because you know, be mindful that we, all this time we talking, even while she was dating, I could call any time, day or night. Notably, Steve Harvey himself has a history of infidelity. Following his breakup with his ex-wife, Mary Harvey, she came forward to shed light on the extent of Steve's unfaithfulness, even implicating his current wife, Marjorie, in the matter. Mary Harvey, who had been married to Steve for 16 years, took to YouTube to publicly expose her ex-husband's true character. In her candid revelations, Mary Harvey painted a starkly different portrait of the successful radio host, revealing him to be a far cry from the stand-up guy the public knew. She meticulously detailed Steve's cheating habits, including his affairs with various mistresses. One particularly shocking revelation was a letter from one of these mistresses. The text messages and the different things that were Most significantly, Mary asserted that Steve had been unfaithful to her with none other than Marjorie, his current spouse. Went right to New York to join him there. Marjorie joined him there. It's widely speculated that Marjorie was initially Steve's other woman. However, what's truly astonishing is the audacity with which she allegedly entered into Steve and Mary's marriage going so far as to call their home during their illicit escapades as if she had a rightful place within their union. Anyway, in light of the revelations of Steve's alleged secret love child, fans started to connect the dots with some, claiming that if the rumors hold any truth, then they might be the reason why Marge allegedly had an affair. One fan commented on this saying, well, just damn, that's why Majori is having an affair with the chef slash bodyguard. For context, in August 2023, unconfirmed reports began circulating, suggesting that Marjorie might have considered seeking a divorce and a share of Steve's substantial $400 million fortune. This speculation took root amidst rumors of alleged infidelity and a well-guarded secret that had been making rounds in certain circles. These rumors were suggesting that Marjorie may have danced on the edges of marital loyalty. Certain reports also claim that Marjorie Elaine Harvey was caught cheating on the Daytime Emmy award-winning personality with his bodyguard and personal chef, William Big Boom Freeman. 
Moreover, following those claims, it was also reported that she had allegedly filed for divorce and demanded $200 million in settlement. The revelations about the host's marriage exploded only minutes after hitting social media with people flooding the comment sections of outlets. For many, it was the shock of someone like Steve, who they believed knew everything about how a relationship should work, getting cheated on. According to reports, the bodyguard she reportedly cheated on Steve with is the same person who recommended Marjorie to him for marriage many years ago. However, it's worth noting that both Steve and Marjorie promptly dismissed these rumors as baseless and unfounded. The 66-year-old comedian took it upon himself to address the unfounded gossip during Invest Fest 2023 in Atlanta, firmly shutting it down even before the event commenced. He assured the crowd that both he and Marjorie were doing well. Steve raised his shoulders in a casual shrug and continued with a touch of exasperation, stating, I don't know what y'all doing, but find something else to do, cause we fine. Lord have mercy, he added, emphasizing the absurdity of the rumors. I don't know what y'all doing, but find something else to do. Shortly thereafter, Marjorie took to her Instagram account to vehemently refute the accusations that had been circulating. She shared a screenshot of a webpage titled How to Handle Being Lied About, featuring a poignant Bible verse about hurled insults. In her caption, Marjorie addressed her relationship with Steve, providing insight into their perspective on the matter. In her post, Marjorie noted that she and her husband typically didn't feel compelled to address the various falsehoods and absurd claims that often surrounded their lives. However, she acknowledged the responsibility that came with their platform and the need to stand up against untruths. In any case, fans haven't overlooked that Steve Harvey, who claims to be a relationship expert, might be dealing with some serious marriage issues. Steve has built a big part of his career around giving advice on love, dating, and marriage. His books and radio shows have made him a well-known name in the world of romance. But despite this polished image, Steve's own love life has been anything but smooth, filled with rumors of cheating and controversy. This disconnect between what he says and what he does makes people wonder if his followers will keep taking his advice seriously. Steve Harvey first jumped into the relationship advice scene with his best-selling book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. The book aimed to give women insights into how men think, offering a guide to better understand their partners. His witty and straightforward style connected with readers, quickly making him famous as a relationship guru. Through his books, radio show, and hosting gigs on shows like Family Feud, Steve has given advice on various aspects of relationships, from first dates to marriage dynamics. He's talked about the importance of open communication, respect, and understanding, winning over audiences with his humorous yet relatable stories. However, Steve Harvey's personal life is far from the ideal love story he often talks about. He's been married three times and each marriage has come with its own set of controversies and problems. For one, Steve's current marriage to Marjorie Harvey has been surrounded by whispers of infidelity and allegations that their relationship started while he was still married to his second wife, Mary Lee Harvey. The public legal battle between Steve and Mary added more scrutiny, painting a picture very different from the perfect relationships he often describes. Moreover, all of Steve's previous marriages ended in divorce, with each split raising questions about the advice he confidently shares. The fact that he couldn't keep his own marriages together makes many wonder if his teachings are more for show than actual substance. On top of that, rumors about Steve Harvey's cheating have been around for years, casting doubt on his image as a relationship expert. These allegations from various sources have tarnished his reputation, making people question whether he really follows the advice he gives. This stark contrast between Steve Harvey's relationship advice and his personal life has earned him the label of a Hollywood hypocrite. How can someone who claims to be a love expert struggle so much in his own romantic relationships? 
Critics say that Steve Taylor's his advice to appeal to a broad audience, focusing on humor and relatability rather than his real life experiences. This approach, they argue, helps him avoid dealing with his own relationship issues, presenting an idealized version of love and marriage to the public. Steve Harvey's followers, who have looked to him for guidance in their own relationships, now find themselves in a tricky situation. The big gap between his advice and his actions is becoming harder to ignore. Some are starting to question if they should keep seeking advice from someone who seems unable to apply his own teachings to his life. Harvey's situation highlights a bigger issue with celebrity advice givers, the challenge of authenticity. When famous people give advice but don't live up to their own words, it creates a credibility gap. In Steve's case, the problem is that he presents himself as a relationship expert, but his own marriage seems pretty complicated. Especially when he openly says he loves curvy women while his wife Marjorie isn't curvy at all. This makes people question how genuine he really is and whether his marriage is as strong as it seems. It's one thing to offer relationship advice, but it's another to live a life that matches that advice. Steve's public admiration for curvy women seems to clash with his choice of partner, making fans wonder about the real state of his relationship with Marjorie. There's no solid proof of an affair with Megan Thee Stallion, but fans are still concerned that Steve's comments might be a sign that things aren't great at home. This perceived disconnect between Steve's personal life and his role as a relationship guru makes people doubt his credibility. For many, the authenticity of the person giving advice is just as important as the advice itself, making it hard for some to keep taking Steve seriously. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.